Hi everyone, Ratna with you again for documentation of the project in Dialex EVO. We always think that uh, documentation is something very least part of the project, but believe me, it tells everything. This video is about how to create documentation reporting and the, well, the content of the documentation is something more elaborative part to be discussed which we can see later. Now we see how to create the documentation. One of the most interesting and my favorite part of the dialects Evo is after documentation how I can transfer to the uh, to the presentation how I am submitting to the client is, is, is very much very much interesting part you have this 28 page report where I can directly copy paste the content to into the presentation I just opened one PowerPoint presentation uh, template and I want to uh, have this image to be incorporated in my presentation you just need to window select and press ctrl C you can, it can directly go to the you can just paste it on the paste it to the PPT and I want to save the report report yeah these are the results I just press on zoom in and I want to take this result to be incorporated in the PPT just select copy paste it's very simple and it's very very simple to uh, have my presentation more interactive because all the data from dialects EU which are more informative part to add to the project now we are going to see how this 28 page document being framed and generated and how to create the, the um, output template we are going to see the documentation process with this sample project that I created which is very simple of course um, the idea of being very simple for tutorial purpose is to have the point to clear and you can apply that for your uh, bigger projects um, so now first thing you have to do is create the views uh, from export ray trace the views I already did for two images which is uh, lighting scene 1 and 2 I created with the wall grazer on and off state uh, why I took uh, the documentation purpose to with the with the lighting scenes the documentation result will show for both scenes together um, yeah so two images ray traced and I took two images FCR on and off now we are going to the documentation space here what you are seeing here is, a, is for a, is a standard uh, template is available in dialects EVO with single room, room technical planner and uh, building owner like it. many other templates are available but what we r basically require have to be selected you can configure your templates um, in this in this tab um, you can create a temp template and name it for name it as project specific you can give your project name also and you want a project cover in this and table of content and I want luminar data and uh, coming to the room I need room summary and I want the layout plan views of, of course and the calculation results this is all mandatory requirement for project and you can select or deselect upon your requirement and I'm going to save this when you save this the current uh, template will be selected automatically what you have what you have currently created it's a tutor and here you can see only one uh, work plane for the one type of uh, one type of lighting scene but we have multiple scene in the project so how to incorporate the multiple scene into the documentation 
When you select on the lighting scene 1, you can see here generate outputs for this light scene is being checked. But for li uh, the newly created lighting scene, it is it is by default unchecked. You have to click on uh, select it. Then you have to go to the documentation where you can see your new scene also being added to the report. Yeah, now you can see work plane for a common area lighting scene 1 and work plane uh, results for common area lighting scene 4. So I have to select the views from uh, click on the views and go to the configure configure page with the shortcut key is F2 and uh, first is lighting scene 1 on state and on state FCR off state and off state FCR so now your report is ready you have the view and a work plane detail and uh, brightness which is not required if you don't require any any um, results you can click on edit and deselect it brightness for the space at this moment we don't want so you have work plane detail and the uh, surface results for an object this surface is what you can see from here is a floor level one is work plane another one is floor So I am assessing to both data, work plane detail and floor lux levels. So when I click on the surface result object 1 uh, for, for uh, scene 4, you are achieving 232 lux and for floor level for scene 1, 327 which is adding adding up the wall grazer illumination even though it's indirect it has a counterpart in your overall lux value of the scene so now uh, we created the template the template is ready all we have to do just to export export before exporting your project need a details to details added to it you have the project uh, project name incorporated date and logo the logo is what you have to select from the header header you have to browse and uh, check on you have to select the logo okay logo has been selected and uh, this will go automatically resized according to the size of the report and you can change the heading project name and you can give your name company name which uh, you can create and save it here I didn't give the full detail I don't want to uh, take your time to address book address has been updated and whenever you create a new project you can check whether that uh, already saved addresses to be added to your project and you can add in the same way customers address as well uh, so you want uh, the uh, report end of the day to be look more professional so now we have to all set to go we have to print the report uh, you have project heading and uh, project uh, date and logo and you just need to determine the page count click on the determine the page count then it will summarize the complete report all together and you will, you will get the name change a number of pages changes here then it's it's it means that the uh, report is ready yeah it's now 28 page report you can just scroll down and see all okay the luminary data is okay 
and yeah what we set is added to the project now to save as a PDF there are two options one the new dialects EU incorporated this open current output in external viewer when you click on this it will automatically open the report and you can just have to do the save file save as um, and you can save it to your location or you can click on the print uh, uh, tab save as PDF and save it you save your report okay it's done now it's such a quite long presentation and thank you very much for watching